All right, guys, just keeping you up to date, JayStation just dropped a video about taking his drone in a tunnel where there's some creepy things living in there. And I just wanted to break the video down for you guys. Go ahead and smash 300 likes for the fastest news network on YouTube. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe with the bell rung. The fact is, if you're not, then you are not up to date. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at RealGodOfCringe. Now let's jump right into it. So he starts out the video saying that he's gone to a tunnel to explore with his drone where he claims a little boy vanished many years ago, which of course we know is made up, but I'll prove that later in this video. He says there's criminals living in this tunnel, but of course, how would he know that? That's something police would know and police would deal with. Of course, unless he is friends with criminals who live in that tunnel. Then of course, Ahmed says, when, when I was a kid, and then he says he went there with friends in the tunnel and one of his friends went missing and was never ever found. Well, if that was really the case, then he'd be traumatized and scared to ever go near any tunnel ever again. They say they're going to find people who live in the tunnel, but we know there's nobody in a tunnel unless he hired them to be there. And if he finds somebody actually living in the tunnel, they'd be homeless and it would be very clear. They wouldn't be some creepy guy with something scary in his hands. He says police went in there to get rid of all the people in the tunnel, but there were too many people so the police couldn't get rid of them all. But I guarantee you, if police want people gone, no matter where they are, it's very easy for them to get rid of people using tear gas. Then he says the police are too scared to even go inside the tunnel, but that actually contradicts the statement he just made saying the police went in there to get rid of people. So come on, Jay. <laughs> he then says maybe they'll find a little boy that went missing in the tunnel. But if this happened many years ago, he wouldn't even be a little boy anymore. Second of all, if he really went missing and police went to look for him in the tunnel, and the police couldn't find him, then I guarantee you Jay and his drone couldn't either. Third of all, if he really did survive in the tunnel and really went missing and wasn't harmed, he wouldn't have survived to the point of police searching for him and then Jay finally searching for him, and then being found all right. <sighs> You've already lied to us about your girlfriend passing. We know to expect many more lies from you, Jay. Then they find, they finally go to the tunnel and they find shopping carts sitting outside the tunnel in a bed of water. And Jay says to Ahmed, do you think those are from the homeless people living in the tunnel? And Ahmed like completely goes off track and says, Jay, I bet people are kidnapping the homeless people. <laughs> that doesn't even go along with Jay's story. Jay, you need to start training Ahmed a little bit better when he says uh, his silly stories and when I was a kid type of things. <laughs> <laughs> then Jay asks Ahmed if they should go inside the tunnel, and Ahmed says, Oh my god, I'm scared, but let's do it! And he doesn't say it in a scared way at all, and it's not convincing Ahmed. Then they both do go into the tunnel. Jay plays a scary sound effect, and then they run out of the tunnel acting scared and pretend as if it was a chainsaw, even though it sounded more like rushing water. <laughs> As they ran out of the tunnel after hearing the chainsaw, it's daylight out. But when they're filming outside of the tunnel, it's then dark. Now the reason they've done this, I will get into in a moment. I guarantee you they wouldn't go anywhere near that tunnel if they actually heard a chainsaw. They then set the drone down to fly into the tunnel. And that's when Jay says, listen Ahmed, if we do find a little boy, we gotta go in there. And Ahmed's like, oh, I'm scared. And Jay's like, yeah, but we gotta go in if we find him. 
Well, first of all, they're not going to find a little boy because there's no articles about a little boy getting lost in a tunnel. Besides, if they did find what was left of a little boy, they would call the police so that they could finish their investigation, collect what was left of him, and give it to the family. Then they fly the drone further into the tunnel where they find a hat and a glove lying in the middle of the tunnel on the floor. But I guarantee you if a homeless person actually had placed or lost their items in the tunnel, they wouldn't neatly be placed right to where the stream of water comes down and it ruins them. So it's clear that Jay and Ahmed had gone in there, placed a hat and glove, and then they moved the drone up a bit where they see a young boy's hat, a car's hat from the movie. And it has blood coming from it. And they're freaking out. They're saying, oh my God, I wonder what happened to the little boy. There's blood, oh no. Right, but if this boy went missing a long time ago, the blood, the fake blood, would have coagulated already, dried up, not been runny and watery, just like fake blood is. So it's clear that Jay and Ahmed had placed these items, poured some fake blood in order to create a storyline. So what we figured out is that Jay and Ahmed did in fact go in the tunnel during daylight, just as they showed. And during daylight, when they could see enough, they went in to place these items, the hat, the glove, and the fake blood. They then came back later on in the dark in order to continue filming so that you wouldn't think that maybe they did place those items. Instead, you'd think, well, it's another time of day, so there's no way they could have gone and placed those items. Because he wants the audience to think that they left that tunnel right after entering. That's why they had originally filmed and pretended to be scared after taking a few steps into the tunnel and filmed themselves walking out of it to convince the, the audience they, that they didn't go deep in the tunnel to place those items in order to create a creepy storyline that is all fake. They then talk about how it would be so scary to go deeper in the tunnel, as if they haven't been deeper in the tunnel, even though we know they've gone deeper in the tunnel in order to place those items. They went to get those items from a nearby thrift store they thought the car's hat looked like something a little boy would own. Then they went back to the cave at night, and then they placed the items. Either that or they placed them during the daytime, as my original theory went. Jay then says, oh, I think that's a car's hat. Well, Jay, you know that's a car's hat because you picked it out yourself at the thrift store. Then you see balloons in the tunnel, which of course they placed as well. They placed several other red balloons along inside the tunnel as well. That goes along with the graffiti that they saw outside of the tunnel. I don't know if Jay and Ahmed did that graffiti themselves or it was there before, but it goes along with the storyline that Pennywise or clowns live in the tunnel or what looks like a cave really. But those balloons would have already deflated a long time ago because they need helium in order to float and be in the air. If you blow it up with your mouth, of course, they won't float at all. So it's clear that they've gone to the store, blown them up with helium, placed them inside the tunnel so that they do still float. They're fresh balloons just to go along with the storyline. And of course, when they find the balloons, Jay asks Ahmed to turn the camera to show the Pennywise graffiti once more, just to reassure his audience that they were left by a clown. <laughs> when they did leave the tunnel in the daytime, if they didn't do the graffiti themselves, there's a good chance Ahmed and Jay went to get the balloons because they just saw the graffiti and they knew it would go along with the story and be sort of believable that way. Jay then says, I don't really want to see anything else. It might be too much. Maybe we should go back. Ahmed says, turn around. Jay turns the drone around and that's when they find the actor. It's probably Jay dressed up. Nonetheless, they don't show the face because they want to be able to use that actor again, whether it be Jay or somebody else. There's a chainsaw in the guy's hand. 
Jay says, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to back the drone up as fast as I can and get out of here. He says, the guy's trying to get the drone. But if the guy was really trying to get the drone, the guy would be running at the drone, trying to grab it or hit it with his chainsaw. This footage you're seeing of the guy with the chainsaw is pre-recorded. Ahmed was most likely filming Jay dressed up with something covering his face to breathe through so that you didn't see who it really was. Then you see Jay, he jumps out of the tunnel, he goes up top above the tunnel, and at this point you don't see him scared at all. But if there was really somebody in there with a chainsaw coming after them, he'd be scared for his life. But instead, he's slowly trying to meticulously fly the drone back to himself so he doesn't lose it. But uh, once again, if they were scared for their lives, the drone would be the least of their concern and they'd be running as fast as possible. Then they cut the film and they start filming Jay when he's back at his apartment. He doesn't have a shirt on because he wants to show off his tattoos and the chain around his neck. They've also done this so that Jay can shout out his new channel, The Dream Team, and says he's got a new video coming out on it tomorrow. And now that his main channel is demonetized, he has to start putting videos on a channel that can earn money. And that's what he's got the other channel for. If he was shouting these things out while being chased by the guy with the chainsaw, it wouldn't seem very realistic. Thank you guys so much for watching.